Johnson of the International Secret Police. and his fleet of fast planes are nearing their destination in Tibet, the criminal thinking that Clint and Barney are no more. Meanwhile, the boys have captured the crew left in the secret hangar and from Chang, one of their number, learn that the octopus is flying to the great mountain range, Nian Cheng Tang La, otherwise known as the spirit of the expanse of great fear. Quickly, the boys lead Chang to a large map of Asia which is hung on the wall of the room they're in, and ask him to point out the exact spot where the octopus plans to land. There you are, Chang. Point it out to us and make sure you show us the right spot. Oh, yes. It is here. You would call it the Black Pass. The Black Pass? A good hangout for the octopus, if you ask me, Clint. Oh, uh, yes. Get the latitude and longitude of the spot, Barney, while I telephone Ying. I want to know if he's getting the information on that six-passenger monoplane that we're going to use on our Tibetan flight. I'll also let Dr. Kingsley know that we're all right. Okay, pal. Now, you look close and make sure that that spot on the map is Black Pass, Chang, and then I'll get all the dope on paper. What can I do, Barney? Sit down and rest while you can, Speed. And you too, Bob. This may be the last time you can do it. Now, come close to the map again, Chang, and give me the lowdown. How does your head feel, Bob? Oh, great, Speed. I guess I must have a tough one. Scarcely know I'd ever been hit. I sure hope you can come to Tibet with us. With what you know about engineering on top of what Marsh's brother told you about his surveying plans there, you should be a big help. I hope I can go, too. I'm anxious to know what happened to Larry Winfield and if he's alive at all. He'll be there, I'm certain of that. I wonder if Miss Marsh will be there, too. Probably. I sure hope she's all right. She's great, Bob. You'd like her a lot. I know I would, Speed. Judging by her picture and by what Larry told me about her... She was as brave as anything on the way over here on the China Clipper when the octopus was doing everything possible to turn us back. And now it's up to us to rescue her. Yeah. You know, much as I'd heard about the octopus and what he did, I never thought anybody could be as much of a sneaking rat as he is. And if you'd known then as much as you know now, Speed, would you have wanted to join the secret police? Would you have wanted to walk into such danger? Wanted to? See, I would have wanted to all the more. I've been talking a lot to the fellas back home when I was there... And we all say that gangsters like the octopus and his gang aren't brave or colorful or anything else. The only color they have is yellow, clean through. The sooner we get rid of them, the better off everybody will be. a boy, Speed. We'll certainly do our part to get rid of the octopus. Yeah. Makes me sore that he got away from us this last time. But maybe it'll turn out all right after all. By following him, we'll probably find Miss Marcia. Yeah, I guess I got it all straight now. You through, Barney? Yeah, unless Chang here can tell us any more. Oh, no. Chang tell you all he know. You know, he spoke us about smuggling Chinese from Tibet over the Himalayan mountains into India. How about him giving us that route, too? Then we can bottle that exit up on the octopus. It's a good idea. Yeah, but that'll take more time than we got right now. I think we ought to see what Clint learned from Ying and then get back to town as quick as possible. We can take Chang along with us for more questioning. While we're talking things over with Clint, we can leave him locked up in this room. You think he'll stay in here, Barney? Oh, sure. Only way out is that door. We can keep an eye on that all the while we're in the hangar. He wouldn't get far if he tried anything. Oh, no. Chang, stay here. Chang want to stay with police. Now he told Octopus Plan. Chang, afraid. Well, you just keep on being afraid. And don't try any funny stuff while we're gone. Do you hear? Oh, you're sort of old time, Chang. Yeah, here. to make sure nobody else hears, I'm going to wreck this short wave set. Okay. Come on, then, you guys. Nobody will talk over that set again. Look, 
The ambulances from Hong Kong have arrived already. So it didn't take them long to get here. Now, guess that'll hold him. Only wish I had the octopus in there, too. Believe me, if we did, I'd break every... Wan Wu. Yes, master. Call the hangar over the short wave set. I want to make sure that all is well there. Yes, master. Is this set on? Yes, I switched it on shortly after taking off. OC-1 calling OC-23. OC-1 calling OC-23. Standing by for a two-way conversation. Give the operator time to tune in. OC-1 calling OC-23. Standing by for a two-way conversation. Come in immediately, please. They do not answer, Master. Hmm, strange. Even if the others had gone, there is always a man by the hangar short wave, sir. I've given strict orders. Try them again. OC-1 calling OC-23. OC-1 calling OC-23. Standing by. Come in, please. Still he does not answer. Quan Wu, something has gone wrong. I fear so, Master. What shall be done? Under other circumstances, I would send some of my planes back to the hangar to see what has happened. But now I must hold them to their course. Regardless of what has happened at the Hong Kong secret hangar, we shall continue on to the Black Pass in Tibet. Once there, or perhaps before we reach there, my men shall find a way of letting me know what has happened. Meanwhile, we shall prepare for a possible attack in the Black Pass. Would it not be better to change our course? To go directly to your headquarters instead of to the mountain station? No. I am taking no chances, Quan Wu. And our exit was so hurried that I had no time to make plans to get in touch with all my Tibetan band. That I must do before setting foot in my headquarters. I want everything to be ready and running smoothly. So that we can begin our operations immediately? Yes. As I said, we shall prepare for a possible attack in Black Pass. But we shall not stay there any longer than necessary. And whoever may follow us, should they learn of our destination, will find the pass windy and desolate. <laughs> Providing they do not find us there, they will learn too late that their lives are ended. There's Clint now. Yeah, what's the news from home, pal? Well, important news, boys. Ying, Cable Chief Riley, is the possibility of us following the octopus into Tibet. And the chief cabled back to follow through to the end. So now that we have an official okay, there's nothing to stop us. Nothing but the octopus and his gang. What about that monoplane, Clint? Now, Ying is seeing to it that it'll be ready as soon as we want it. Is he going with us? Well, I doubt it, Bob. Uh, he's our chief man in China. And it's important that he remain in Hong Kong to back up our operations in Tibet. I can't say for certain as to that, however... Depends on what happens before we return to the city. What about Doc Kingsley? Well, he was very relieved to hear from us and so worried over the whole affair that I didn't dare tell him what actually occurred. You know, I wish there was some way of getting him and Jean to safety and knowing that the octopus couldn't reach out for them. You really think you'll take him on our flight, Clint? I don't know. Depends mostly on what the doctor says, Speed. The doctor himself would be a valuable addition to our party, knowing Asia as well as he does and being a physician to boot. It's Jean that I'm worried about. Suffering wang doodles. Seems like there should be some safe place to leave the kid. This trip ain't going to be anything for a little girl. Yes, but I know the doctor would never consent to having her out of his sight. She faced actual death in their home. I think he'd rather risk taking her on the flight than leaving her in Hong Kong. Maybe we could find a safe place to leave her in Tibet. No, if she started off with us, she'd stay with us. If she did come along, however, I'm hoping we might locate Marshall Winfield. Then I could leave both Marsha and Jean in Bob's care, and we could track the octopus down without any worry as to their safety. By the way, Bob said we ought to ask Chang about the smuggling route between Tibet and India. Figured maybe we could nab the octopus gang there if we failed to find him at Black Pass. Yeah, sure enough. Oh, uh, where is Chang, incidentally? Back in the office. We locked him in. You know, I don't trust him. <laughs> Still, he seems so scared that he may have been telling us the truth. You mean all those directions about the mountains called the spirit of the expanse of great fear might have been all wrong? Yeah, but all we can do is follow one clue or another, Speed. And sooner or later, we'll catch up with the octopus. I see the wounded are all in the ambulances now. 
Oh, oh yes. <laughs> you know those Hong Kong police are great fellows, aren't they? Wounded though they were, <laughs> they were laughing at the bad marksmanship of the octopus gunners. Laughing? What a sense of humor. Well, I guess you get that way if you hang around Hong Kong long enough and happen to be on the police force. <laughs> Say, Clint, have you happened to find anything to eat around here? I'm getting darn hungry. Golly, it has been a long time since breakfast, hasn't it? I was so excited about everything that I forgot all about eating until Bob talked about it just now. I could use a little grub myself. How's about collecting Chang and scooting back to town for a real feed, Clint? It'll take a little time before we can take off for Tibet, and we still got to eat. Well, all right, and everything's just about cleaned up here. Uh, Captain Dawes is going to leave a few of his men here to guard the hangar, but there's no need for anyone else to stay on at present. You don't think the octopus might change his mind and come back... Back here, Clint? Well, judging by his past performances, no. Once he leaves a place, he doesn't return until the hue and cry is well over. Well, if we were as good at catching him as we are at chasing him, I'd be satisfied. If I'm going to travel, I'd like to do it with a free mind. And I don't think I'd pick Tibet for a pleasure resort. Oh, you uh, want to stay in Hong Kong, Barney? Yeah, we... Huh? Who, me? Are you crazy? Do you want to get rid of me? <laughs> no, but you're free to do as you wish in such a case as this. Uh, you could stay in Hong Kong and we'd take a ying along. Not a chance. I'm staying on until the end of this <laughs> ride. I thought your curiosity would get the best of you. <laughs> what do you mean, curiosity? Don't you know courage when you see it? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I don't get so excited. We'll take you to Tibet with us. Oh, oh by the way... Here we are at the office door. <clears throat> oh, who has the key? Barney locked it. Yeah, let's see now. What did I do with it? Uh, now, nah, don't tell me you've lost it. No, I ain't lost it. Here, here it is. Come on out, Chang. Hey, hey, the room's empty. Where's Chang? Uh, what? Let's see. He's not in here. Yeah, but he's got to be. You all saw me lock him in, and he couldn't have gotten out without us seeing him. He's got to be in there. Yes, but he's not. There must be some other way out of this room. We might have known. Secret entrance? Yes, but we haven't time for that now. Chang will get word to the octopus that we're on his trail just as soon as he can get to a short wave set. We've got to get back to town and start our flight to Tibet before the octopus is warned of our coming. 